Hey folks, welcome back to this Let's Play series of Shadow Empire. My name is Ben and I am playing on a Seth planet with some pretty interesting, well, non-Seth-like characteristics. We've got this, these kind of crazy mountain ranges with um, with these cloud forests and there's, there's really not very much water either. Um, I think there's like kind of, there's obviously glaciers underneath, you know, kind of pockets of ice underneath this frozen planet. Um, but there's, but this planet's really, really cold. Look, if you'll notice in our, the top of our, the top of the map, which is kind of like near to one of the poles, we've still got this kind of lush vegetation and yet it's minus 46 degrees. <laughs> so it's really, really cold. Okay. Um, we were facing up to this new enemy and we've actually got some intel now on who these guys are. This is Ham uh, Hamburg from the Zanstein Farmers uh, Minor Regime. Now, these guys have got, well, they're relatively well built up look. They've got here um, a Dome Farm 3. They've got some pretty big uh, free folk towns. They, I mean, they've, they've got quite a lot. And then they've got Hamburg itself. And Hamburg is nearly 100,000 people, so it's pretty big. It's also got um, a fairly high happiness. And yeah, we want that. That's something that we want. Now, I think this is going to be our next, probably going to be our next invasion target. Uh, Bardenreich, at the moment, we've we've initiated the diplomatic path, shall we say, to, to taking those guys over. Now, um, there's also a lot of land that we can take here, but we've got to get at it. And we get at this land by basically, we're going to have to go through this uh, landwig territory, sorry, the landing territory. Um, we need to kind of skirt around that. Now, I might actually just grab a little bit more space. You might find that these uh, these creatures now try and cut us off, but I, I think it should be okay. Um, I might move this here. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so let's take a look at our zones because, or my zones, because I, I think what I want to do is try to figure out where what it is I need to build. Now we've just we've just finished some bureaucrat offices in Lancaster. Um, that's not going to help a huge amount, although it will help the populace because the more active assets we've got working in the city, the less uh, affected they're going to be by exposure. Uh, that's something I didn't, I, I'd kind of forgotten about that. So you actually want to get some assets up fairly quickly. Uh, we also need to sort out this, we are, we are hemorrhaging food at the moment, we need to sort this out and this will get sorted out once the uh, dome farm's back online, but I think we're going to have to build another farm like quick because we've just about got enough resources to be able to start one and I think that's the only thing that we're building I'm certainly not building anything in Skull Tower so I might actually build another dome farm here and I think I, I might just build that here now and um, we're gonna and then we're gonna have to send that food up here we'll also notice that um, most of this is this area is still classed as Skull Tower now we should probably sort that out I'm not gonna put you through the painful um, experience of watching me do that so I'm just gonna pause the video and, and I'll, I'll work on that zone okay so I've actually partitioned uh, Skull Tower and Lancaster off from one another so you'll see this the border here and it's easier to look if you uh, look at on the, the strategic map so if we just go into zones and then you can see Lancaster here and then Skull Tower here so I've just kind of partitioned them off so they're a little bit kind of a little bit neater and um, once Lancaster is up and running we'll be able to start getting that kind of more productive and operating some of these sites that we want to be building so we really need to build uh, a dome farm here in Lancaster and I think I might actually build it on uh, here at uh, Kepifa so that might be a good opportunity now that we built the bureaucrats office the only thing I would say about that is yeah we've got plenty of population to work there so I'm gonna go ahead and do that now now Xeno agriculture facility these are special farms and agricultural installations that plant and harvest alien crops in the ground in open air. Make sure that the alien crop actually have enough nutritional value to be worth the investment. Also verify the climate is adequate and you have plenty of water for their operations. Right, so these, um, they don't take el electricity and they don't take water every turn, right? You just need, they all they need is, they just need to be um, manned. However, uh, it, Providing this, providing this grows, you don't need to use water. 
So this is quite interesting because if we actually go into uh, the planet, we get to help an agricultural crops details. Now, um, you'll see that Terran crops, the maximum lowest temperature that they'll grow at is one degree C. And below this temperature, there's no production at all. Okay, um, so the ideal temperature is 20 degrees C. So Terran crops are just not going to grow on, on this planet. Well, they will, but they, the, the temperature is just not right. Um, whereas the xenobiological uh, crops, their, their ideal temperature is minus 55. So the highest ideal temperature is um, negative 42. So above this temperature, there's some reduced production. So here, um, actually in this particular area, we could grow the alien, biologic, uh, alien crops. I don't think I've ever done this in a game before, actually. And the, the, the crops will be, well, they're going to be useful. Uh, if you have a look, look. Um, alien nutritional toxicity. Excellent full nutritional value. So we can actually use, we can actually grow the alien, these alien crops, whatever it is that these plants are that are growing. So let's just make sure. I don't know if we can grow it here. Let's just have a look. I think we can. So we just make sure that the temperature is right. Now the temperature here, look, is even colder. And this might actually be better because if we just go in, I just want to check that again. Uh, so basically, uh, ideal temperature is 55 degrees. So um, sort of between 55 and 42, uh, there's going to be, you know, th th this is kind of like, it's going to grow okay here, right? So basically, anywhere between 42 to 68 is going to be fine. So 42, well, this is above 42, and this is 50. I think maybe if we put it here, that might be a good place. So let's go for that. Um, it's going to, it, it takes quite a lot of men um, working on it, but um, it produces 200 uh, food per round, and we're not having to worry about electricity because of the agricultural dome. So let's go for that. Aye, aye, sir. Quite excited to see one of these actually. I don't think I've ever built one before. Okay, now um, let's take a look at Skull Tower. Let's make sure that we're not suffering any big deficits. Now we're only producing 347 food here and we're consuming 147 of them. Um, so that's a problem. To see if we can actually sell any, you know, water's just too cheap at the moment. We might need to buy some food expensive though really expensive metals so um, cheap as to be almost worth nothing expensive to buy though um, rare metals we're not gonna get anything for because we just sold a whole bunch of them so yeah we've got to be careful we, we could end up with starving troops here uh, we, we, yeah we could end up basically just starving everyone in which case we'd, we I think I'd rather the people starved before my troops did but, you know, that's not something I really want to happen. Let's try and get this agricultural facility up. We've got a couple of turns worth, at least, of food, you know. And um, let's just see, let's see if we can get this kind of stabilised. Now, um, Skull Tower. We've got room to, we, we've got the space to build something. But we don't want to be, I, I don't want to build too much at once. One of the, pro you can actually crash your economy if you build too many things at once, so... Yeah, I think we're mostly done for this turn, so I'm going to roll the turn on. I think I want to keep this brigade just here one more turn. Yeah, I think I, I need to keep this brigade here one more turn. Um, and I'm just going to start trying to stockpile some of these so I can eventually start building some industry because we're kind of, I don't know, 14 rounds into the game now and we've still not got any industry up. And that's not good. Uh, that we need, to, we need to fix this problem because it is a problem. Okay, I'm going to roll the turn now. Okay, so we're back and we are in round 15. We've discovered some more water. Um, yeah, we've just got a bunch of a bunch of uh, the usual stratagems. Okay, we need to increase our population happiness. Let's just see the one we've actually said we're going to do that for. Okay, we've got eight rounds left. So we do need to raise our overall population happiness. I think this will go up as um, the it will it will go up once the danger starts diminishing. Yeah, this is almost gone. Look, so we actually we remove fourteen points this turn. So let's have a look at this asset. Okay, 
Now we're running low on on workers here. Yeah, we we're still running low on food. We've got just enough to last us two turns, or one yeah one turn. It might uh, with the rate that the that this is diminishing, we might find that uh, we've got we can actually get two turns out of this. But I want to buy some food anyway, just in case. It's still really expensive. And it's likely we can't sell much too, so... We could actually sell these high-tech parts that I don't need at the moment. That's kind of a shame to have to do that. But, um, yeah. Okay. I'm just going to have a quick look at the history as well. Let's just see what happens. So, I'm going to play it through. Farmers are trying to outmaneuver us. So, um, they're not, they've not actually declared war on us yet. I'm going to move these up here. Now, one of the reasons why these guys are might be moving a little bit more slowly might be because of the temperature. I was just thinking about this earlier, actually, that it might be the temperature that's the issue. Okay, this should force these guys to move back. Um, they might well invade me. These aren't moving. Okay, I'm just going to rearrange those. And let's move these walkers up. Move them up. That's where they're not going to have any movement points left. Now, Zanstein, um, yeah, we don't. I think we probably should invade these. I think that's probably going to be wise. Uh, let's before I do too much. Let's have a look at the uh, the decisions we've got to make. So they are demanding that our victory points increase by round twenty six, and we're on round fifteen. Quite a lot. That's quite a lot. Uh, let's have a look at our victory points. Don't know if you can. I, I forget where you can see. Oh, I, I think it's in the victory overview. Here we go. Um, okay, so at the moment, where are we on this list? Three skills. We're second at the moment, but two point seven victory points. I don't know. That's a lot. That is. That's a lot of victory points to get. I think I might. I might actually say no this one. Let's just have a look at the factions again. Now the reformist union are actually the, the, the strongest union, uh, they're the strongest party, they're the ones in power at the moment. Um, yeah, these guys are not much good either. I don't, I don't like turning people down, but I think I'm going to have to here. They're not going to be happy with that. We lost six mine points for that, unfortunately, but it's just... Uh, I don't, uh, the word score is important. You don't want to start making promises you can't keep. Uh, civilization score, that can be that can be raised. Average rate relation with other regimes. Uh, average quality of life. Um... We are currently at 9, we need to go up to 14. This is going to be easier, I think. Mm. Let's go for quality of life. I think I can do that. Uh, what? There are, there are opportunities to larger administration. Okay, so... Military Research Council is going to be next, I think. Uh, I'm tempted to go for Interior Council because we've got such poor leaders, but I think we're going to have to go for... We should go with Military Research. We're going to need somebody to staff that. Now, I'd like to try and get this Mox Hill here. And I don't know how possible that's going to be. But it's worth a try. We're going to be out of supply. Uh, oh, hang on. We've got plenty of supply. Yeah, plenty of supply. So if we can try and get, uh, get down in here into Mox Hill. Yeah, we've we've actually cut off uh, uh, Rochoye packs. So um, that's good. That's good. We we hopefully we can bag we can bag this place. It's also got some ruins. Look, not a lot of ruins, but there are some. Okay, and 
Yeah, so we're just kind of maneuvering around here just to try and figure out what we're going to do. Um, I could attack them now. I think I will. So let's uh, get in there. Looks like they had more men there than we expected. Might have been a bit much to expect these... Uh, to expect these militia to do much much of a job there. So... Yeah, they've got... I'd like to cut them off if I can. Rather than sort of throw myself at them piecemeal. So at least, well, they, they know we're at war with them now. I don't think they're going to have enough troops to be able to defend this. Um... Yeah, I can't, I can't create any more troops, really. Not until we've got this food situation sorted out. Um, this is quite, this is quite expensive. I think I, we, we're definitely going to survive till next turn. I'm going to figure out how much money we're going to need, um, or how much f food we're going to need, and then. And then I'll figure out exactly how much to buy next turn. And just hope that the price doesn't raise. Because that would be kind of annoying. <laughs> we should probably move this, this group now down, um, over this way as well. Although... Uh, the morale still kind of low. I might actually just go to the secretary. Standing by. Copy that. Uh, it wasn't the budget I wanted to do. That's okay. I, I just did that a bit quick. So re readjust this. Yeah, just kind of... Copy that. That was worth doing. And then, again, I want to go to Copy salaries. That. And I'm just going to pay the soldiers a little bit more. I think. Yeah. And... Keep the rest the same. I might put the zone governors up just to secure their loyalty a little Copy bit more. That. Okay, so the soldier morale has gone up. Um, now... Morale is pretty low, you'll see. It is pretty low on a lot of these guys. So we really, we really need to get the morale up. Because they don't fight well with poor morale. Actually, it's a real killer. Um, yeah, you'll see that we're as low as 32. So it's really, really bad. Okay, I'm going to roll the turn. Okay, so we're starting round 16. Still in this time of calm. And we've raised happiness enough that we've managed to meet our demand. Good news. We've got a shadow diplomat and another political aid truck. Okay, before I go any further, um, or oh, zone quality of life, okay, that's fine. Uh, before we go any further, let's start assigning some of these political aid trucks. These are really, really, really good units, by the way. And do you know what? I might have actually wasted the political aid truck on the on the cataphract because I've never actually noticed it go below 100 readiness <laughs> but I think that might be partly because it might have that aid truck but I am I'm definitely going to put it on these guys so let's do that now I'm going to start putting them uh the aid trucks or onto these onto these infantry because it will just really help with their ability to wage war copy that so we'll put one on the 10th and We'll put one here onto the seventh too. Copy that. We've got plenty of political points. Okay, so these guys are going to be a little bit ready, a little bit more ready for war. Notice how these farmers are, are actually moving back. I don't want to attack into an area that I can't see. Okay, so we're kind of getting close. Uh, I don't think that they've got enough troops to be able to really fight us off. I'm pretty sure they haven't. Let's Okay, before we go too far with that, let's have a look at our decisions. There's an incident with democratic activists. Ah, right, she's becoming a problem. So I'll let you guys read this. 
and she's got high ambition and she's got low um, lead low uh, what do we call it low loyalty so this person's really really bad we need to get rid of her I think I mean I did give her I, I did give her, her um, a diplomat hoping that that would sort that out but uh, I don't want that democracy here either actually pretty high Understood. right I mean this is gonna really are we gonna have to replace her um, so that's it that's something I've got to yes, do sir. I'm gonna get these two guys yes, so we've got a bit of choice here zero Sanders <laughs> I like that name he's only cap one though oh, man what is it with all these losers okay Micah Strutter you have saved me she's better She's going to be a better, she's, she'd be better at war, but I mean, she's not got a high intelligence by any stretch of the imagination. Um, but she's going to, she'll have to do. She's going to have to do, I think. Yeah. She's going to have to do until, I mean, what's Zero Sanders like? Nah. Nah, that guy's no good. Let's get, let's get her in there. And... Now we want the discovery policy high for military just to start off with. We don't really need any of the technologies. Okay. There's a minor worker strike in Lancaster. Let's aye, just aye, let's just crush that one with the iron boot. Let's just have a look how that's affected things. Right, so we've only got 19 unrest. 35 fear. Um, I think it's time to move these guys out now. Ah, interesting. Let's move those down to there. Yeah, let's just move the, use the group move. Um, we do we do need to now get a formation up here. So let's get the usual machine gun regiment. Let's make sure. Have we got this asset up yet? Ah, okay. So this is up and running now. We are low on food. Let's just trade for some more food. Price is still kind of low, um, kind of high, sorry, but let's just get this anyway, so, yeah, what do we need? We need about 100 and, what's that, 163, 153, so, let's just buy 200. Yes, sir. It's going to take a lot of our f uh, credits, but, uh, you know, we're... We kind of needed to do that. We can sell some water. So there we go. Let's get rid of some water. All of a sudden, water's become necessary. This is because of the way the trading houses work, right? The the trading houses kind of they spread out over the right over the uh, planet, and they kind of interlock with one another. And it can take several turns. According to the manual, it can take several turns for a need in one area to be met by another um, because of the way that they, the trading houses sell to one another. So. I really like the trading system in this. It's a little bit esoteric, but it's. Um, I've noticed that Vic, uh, Vic has updated the manual, and the manual is a lot more. Since I played it, when I, I mean I played it really early before the, even the game was released, and the, the information in the manual was quite limited then. But it's so much better now. He's he's really made. I really feel like he's made a big big effort to to kind of increase to increase the, you know uh, your understanding of some of the more esoteric sides of the game like the, the fact that there is actually a little bit in there now describing the trade houses is really useful let's get these velociraptors um yeah let's get these velociraptors in let's see if we can see yeah there's nothing over this side let's see if we can threaten uh, getting a flanking maneuver in on them we might be able to get these guys to fold as soon as they see something coming in this way they will They'll likely retreat, I think. Um, now, hopefully... Can I... Do I dare move these? I think I do. So let's get the... Uh, let's get this HQ up this direction. Okay. So we use a bit of strategic move there. Um... These guys have got some movement. 
Might have to remove them up here. There we go. See if we can punch through this way. Now that there's likely going to be troops here, but we'll see. We'll see what's happening. Okay, so uh, let's just take a look at the strategic map. Yeah, we've uncovered quite a lot of the planet now. Go to zones. Um, okay. What I'm looking for is major regimes. There's a minor. These are all my. Oh, there's a major. Uh, Gigarex. We already knew about that one. Um, there's another major one. That's the this one here. Who are acting friendly with us at the moment? Although we've not had any. Ah, Tyridor. Tyridor. These ones are also acting friendly. And uh, Vertillo. So these two. Be interested to know if they're getting on with one another. Yeah, okay, so we're starting to uncover more of the players in this game. Oh, the aliens are trying to talk to us again. Let's send all the linguistics that we've got. We've got loads of PP, so let's do this. Yes, sir. Uh, so we've made amazing progress. Interesting. So that's increased our mine profile, which is good. And it's increased our relationship with landing territory as well, which is these guys down here. Um... And now I've been I've been actually quite careful not to infringe on their territory too much. I think those aliens are going to be here. But yeah, there they are. Look. <laughs> Found them. <laughs> uh, we're going to have to uh, we're going to have to replace those. Okay. It's metals we're short on. We are short on metals, and I don't like it. Let's get uh, let's get this scavenging site up and running. I think aye, aye, recycling sir. facility. It's going to give us some metals at least. Then I think we will try to upgrade the uh, the one that we've already got here. I think we can do that too. Yeah, I'm not going to do it this turn, but uh, that's that's to be done next turn as well. Hmm. I think we're good to go. There's. Uh, I'm just going to have a quick look through through some of our stratagems okay so this is Baden who we're friends with and Hamburg we've actually got spies in there um, I might try and get some more spies into Baden so into Hamburg sorry yes, sir. okay critical success and Where else would be useful having some eyes on, I wonder? Maybe we could check out what's going on in landing. Providing it's not gonna we we're not definitely gonna fail. That would be useful. Thirty. Yes, sir. Okay. Got quite a low roll, but that's fine. And that's looking good. Um that's not looking good, so we need to we need to make sure that these guys Let's try and replace them. Ah, we can get motorcycles as well now. Now, I think we could probably... Probably get some... We need some motorcycles up here. But I wonder if we can raise a formation. There we go. There's an independent formation there. Let's get some here too. We've actually got the ability to create tanks now. I'm probably not going to use too much. Um, we haven't got the best tanks either. We can't. We can't get them there. They they will take too long to transport. But let's. Yeah. Now the problem is that we uh, we don't have enough. We don't have enough metal. We need much more metal if we're going to build tanks. Not a problem. Uh, I I really like these bikes, so I'm going to try and build as many of these bikes as I can. Um, I might see if I can get some here too. Okay, so this is going to be the third independent motorbike battalion, and I'm going to attach those guys to the first machine gun. Well, let's attach those to the first. We'll attach these guys to the second. There we go. All right. And yeah, I mean. Considering we're at round 16, I mean, 
my expansion's a little bit slower than it normally is, but the game is on hard. Um, and yeah, it's going to take us a while to get up here, but I want to take this territory and try to get... We, we need to swallow up some territory so that we become a, a player in this game now. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm going to end the episode there, guys. That's half an hour already. Wow, it's gone so quick as well. So I hope you enjoyed the series and I'll catch you in the next episode. Take it easy.